I'm willing to bet you're not ready for the free guild Cavalier Marshal. Hi there, Chris here with another unboxing for you all. In this video, we are going to take a look at the newest Cities of Sigmar Free Guild Cavalier Marshal for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Really, really fantastic. This model, when they previewed this model, I was like, wow fantastic pose i love the imagery i love the style i enjoy the composition everything about this model this sculpt is fabulous paint job wonderful it's not really about the paint job though because i mean this guy could be painted up in many different colors it is really really all about the pose the the base the composition the model the pose the flow of movement everything this is really one of those models that you know one could really just talk on end about the sculpting, everything like that, the use of texture, the balance. My gosh, like this is really, really fantastic. So big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box set. Big thank you to my patrons for their continued support and all you brand new ones. And a big thank you to everyone here on YouTube. Clicking that membership button. Huge, huge thank yous to you all. So it's one Citadel miniature. Fantastic looking sculpt. My gosh, let's have a look at the back of the box. Do we get build options? <gasps> oh, I think there are build options. Oh, look at that. Alternate heads. <gasps> yes. Oh, different weapon arm. Or maybe same my weapon arm. No, I think those are different arms. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. I, I mean, we'll figure it out once we're there. The other thing about this model that I really find interesting is that, remember the Nurgle guy, the Harbinger of Doom or whatever heck his name was? He came out in that big Vanguard box. I don't think the model sold separately as of recording of this video, but anyway, that he's a big Nurgle model. He's on the horse. It has this really, really classic kind of vibe and it has a, a lot of familiarity. And this model is kind of like that one in that it draws up a familiarity with that composition. What it is, I'm not sure. It's I'm sure it's something I've, ab I've absorbed in the past of some piece of art, sculpture, something that this is reminding me of. And I'm sure once I figure that out, I'll, I'll be able to sleep at night. <laughs> Cause right now I'm not sleeping at all, at all. Let's bust out the trusty rusty blade of destiny and let's cut into this box. Let's do it. Let's get it. And it's cellophane up. So Chris is already a happy guy. Oh, do we need to come in for the ASMR? Um, no, cause I'm too excited. I want to get into this box. So let's just dive in. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time. Let's get in. Ah, let's get in. Ah, ah. All right. <laughs> Everybody's like, wow, the man's lost it. He's lost it. He's, he's finally lost it. All right. Let's have a look at the box. Okay. We got everything? Yeah, we got everything. Looks like we get big old sheet of transfers. Of course we do. Now, with the Age of Sigmar, uh, Cities of Sigmar, yeah, you are, you are not going to be short on transfers if you collect this army. And if you love applying transfers and using transfers and you're all about the transfers, yeah, this army has you covered because holy cromoly. And the thing is, is that some of these, honestly, you could throw them on other models. Like some of them are really fun. They're like, they're really interesting. Like a lot of these tree viney things, like even this one here with the bird wings. You could see that on a space marine. Don't tell me you don't think that. <laughs> like even some of these ones here, they feel like like the one red doggy heads, you know, bird heads. These these are this is these are space marines. <laughs> you could use these on space marines or t vehicles or whatever. It is one frame and one tiny little uh, booklet and an oval base. The free guild Cavalier Marshal. Let's have a look. Horsey looks pretty straightforward to assemble. You start slapping on all the extras. Wow. So much detail. Look at this thing. Like really it is, it is for me all about the, the horse, that flowing banner, the rider. I'd like him with the helmet. Usually I, you know, I like without the helmets. I, I think the helmeted rider looks better. That's my personal opinion, but yeah. Usually, you know, like Chris is all about the unhelmeted heads, but no, I think I like the helmeted head better. It just feels more appropriate with this, uh, with, for this character. Then we get a look at the little rules. And then of course we get a look at the frame and the frame is pretty 
darn cool. Look how, that's really quite interesting that the entire model is cast right to his base like that. Usually you don't see that kind of thing, especially with like mounts. Usually they're, they're, you know, like maybe the foot will be attached or, you know, something like that, but not right from the horse body or the mount body to the base, to the scenic part of the base anyway. Yeah, that's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, all right, so let's uh, come in for a closer look on this frame. And yeah, I guess we'll have to do a sniff around. Maybe see what the horse and the rider smell like. Oh, I don't know, I guess, I suppose. I, you guys have twisted my arm enough. Uh, we'll come in for a closer look and uh, yeah. All right, so we're coming in for a closer look on the frame. Uh, I've just picked any kind of random point on the, on the frame. And yeah, really, really fantastic. The face sculpts are really awesome. Lots of work on the base. Like it's, it's really quite interesting how so much of the frame and the model is really its base. <laughs> it says Sigmar on his chest. <laughs> Sigmar. That's the horsey's tail. Here's a horsey. For horsing. Somebody's hammer, tree branch, holding the reins, horsey bum. Yes, there's, there is, uh, again, if anybody knows what it is my brain is on as far as like what this is all reminding me of, please feel free to let me know down below because, um, yeah. I'm kind of racking my brain about it. Like, what is it that is so darn familiar about this composition of the model? It's not that the model is like immediately recognizable, but it is familiar. Something about it is familiar. I'm not hundred percent sure why that is. Really fun details. The reins, the stirrups. Really, really cool. All sorts of details. Really, really cool. I thought that was a, a chicken head. That looked like the, is it me or does that not look like the robot chicken head? Anyway, let's come in for a sniff test. Jeez, it smells like a horse's bottom. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I thought a Cavalier Marshal might smell like. Who knew? Who knew it smelled like that? But, you know, that's why we do these tests. That's why we do these tests. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the rest of the video. That is our look at the Fusil, <laughs> the Free Guild Cavalier Marshal. What did I say? Fleece, Fusil ma Major? Wrong guy. <laughs> the free guild cavalier marshal big thank you to games workshop for sending me a review copy of this model big thank you to my patrons for their continued support and all you brand new ones and big thank yous to everyone here on youtube for clicking that membership button huge huge thank yous if you're not able to support monetarily i.e money Thumbing up the video, liking, following, subscribing, commenting, ringing the bell, all help the channel as well. And all it takes is a couple clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. Take care of your brushes. They'll take care of you. And I will see you in the next unboxing or useless review. Maybe a painting tutorial. Maybe a live stream. Maybe a battle report. Maybe. Oh no, that's it. That's all I do. Yeah, I'm kind of boring. I don't really do a whole lot. Just unboxing and painting videos. That's it. <laughs> okay, bye.